Give me it. Yeah. God. Ellie, look above you. There should be a, a pipe system. Just follow that. Whew. Anyway, hello and welcome to the third episode of Jurassic Park. This is the Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic Park. These titles are getting ridiculous. But we're back, and today, well, well, the same day, I'm really not too sure. I, it took me three episodes before I realized, wait a minute, I could be dressing up as the characters that are in there. I'm so sorry, I do apologize, but we are here now. <laughs> and we have got to add a trice. Oh no, the trike failed? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, we need to construct it on here as well. Ah, well, it's a good job we have a lot of money. Got to have money. So we're go our mission is to add a Triceratops, a Dilophosaurus, and a Parasaurolophus to the park. And we can, oh, can we, ooh, can we research anything? There's two, two research teams available. Uh, there is only medical treatments. I may as well send them off to get that. There's nothing else I can do. I know, Mr. DNA, you may point at me, but there's nothing that can be done. So, we got... Spinosaurus, why, why is Spinosaurus available? Why? Oh, should we, it's already on 40%. Sod it, we're getting Spinosaurus. <laughs> you never know. Oh, Parasaurolophus failed now as well, come on. Well, I know who won't fail, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus won't fail me. So we'll go for that. And I mean, is it, this is mission five. The next mission, is going to be all about Pteranodons and Comsognathus, and I have done that one, so I know what to do. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen any more of the, uh, the, the... Oh, that's cool! They made the sound effects! Joffrey, raise the gate! So where's the bushes that it came out of? Somewhere there, was it? Ah, okay. Well, we have a Triceratops, and now instead of it just coming out, we plop it into somewhere! And I mean, Pretty much go anywhere. I mean, this whole place is vast. I'm trying to think, wait a minute. We've got Triceratops there. We've got Triceratops there. I'm assuming, okay, that one's inside another one, but who's not used to seeing a little bit of dino inside dino action? We'll add another one to the mix. A Triceratops, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? If he's unhappy, what's he gonna do? Tear down a tree? Actually, to be fair, he might end up running over and uh, <laughs> attacking the fence. I'm pretty sure they did that when I did my hardcore uh, playthrough or legendary playthrough. When I made the um, the viewing platform in the middle, there was dinosaurs running from one end of the island because they were unhappy to smash a fence to get in somewhere which they were also equally unhappy with. Ah, gotta love the good. So we've got a Dilophosaurus and a Parasaurolophus. Uh, chaos chaos being made at the moment. Oh, I had all these. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm, you have to triple click things. That's what I'm noticing. Woo, don't get rid of that. But, 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 but. Um, do we have, eh, just go somewhere where we haven't got, what do we not have? Ankylosaurus or Pachycephalosaurus, you never know. Maybe we'll have to make some of those. Da, da, da. <laughs> like it was just in the middle, like, eh. <laughs> not this helipad. This is for, um, the excavation team. I have not heard, even though these are 1997 patterns, I have not heard a uh, Parasolophus make a Lost World sound. Again, that is, I think, Jurassic World. I have not, apart from when they hatch, it's the only time I've heard them make that sound. So I don't think the skin really comes with its own calls or anything like that. I basically unlock everything at mission five. Apparently, oh, I didn't realize that. And a Parasaur. And oh, now just shove it in with the other ones. It'll be fine. And there we go. Story. Jurassic Park will need a tour, of course. No, Ooh, yes. not this. Uh, trust me. Those cars are no match for a T-Rex. We will make the sure Ford it's Explorers. done right. You can't always live in the past. This whole island is one big monument to the past. When I studied to be a paleontologist, the chance of me ever seeing a living dinosaur was nil. The chance that I'd have to run for my life from one, even less than that. And now we are putting the public within biting range of them. You're right, Alan. Hammond's gonna do this whether we approve or not. 
So we have to make sure every measure is being taken. We need the dinosaurs safe and the people even safer. Mr. Cabot, I She's assume got a you point. want to test the tour personally. That's not really part of my job description. We should make sure that the tour ride allows guests to see all the dinosaurs. They should experience oh. the wonder of this place. And not the Terra that we have. <laughs> that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. Where is the tour? So this is the Dross Spot tour. Allows guests to experience all dinosaurs. And there it is. Oh, I can't wait to look at it in the daylight. Research binoculars to extend the view range of the tour. Uh, oh, there it is. Too much damage to vehicles from dangerous dinosaurs recalls the park tour to enter an emergency shutdown. What do you mean too much damage? Is, is, is there a limit? Is it like, oh, 20%? Ah, it's fine. And require a ranger team to reopen it once the damage has passed. Sorry, sorry. Once the danger has passed. Interesting. So they can go in closures and they can also be damaged, I'm assuming. Right. Okay, but where do we put this? Like, where's the start of the tour? I'm going to say here. We can put it here. So when you're doing the Jurassic Park era, this is how your visitors are going to be able to experience the park. Oh, look! We get, must join an adjacent gate to add. We're going to have a tour gate or a Jurassic Park gate. And what's this track? Oh! Oh, okay. Oops. Right, so we'll delete that segment. So we need a Jurassic Park gate in order to get back in. How do we place track? I've completely forgotten. Oh no, that's right. Yeah, you click on the thing, don't you? <laughs> and then you go edit to it. There we go. Alrighty. So, and then I select the Jurassic Park gate. And it's a Jurassic Park gate. Yes. No, I want to face it this way. How do I face it? So I click on the gate. Actually, you know what? No, that'll do. We only have one Jurassic Park gate. And then we get close to the wraps. Uh... And then we we take it we take a diversion, and then we go uh, right round the, the the redwood trees. And is that too close to a redwood tree? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, now we need to power it. So we'll need one transformer. There you go. Beautiful. Um, so what? I can't even see because the camera's in the way. Construct the connect. I did that. Miss Triceratops can be seen. Dilophosaurus can be seen. And Parasolophus can be seen. <gasps> Here it is! Oh my god! No, I want to jump on it! Edit to a route. Ride park to. There it is. <gasps> oh! I'm in, the, I'm in the Ford Explorer! Ah, that's around about the right leather seats. Yes, yes, yes. Switch camera and switch vehicle. So we can go to the one in front. Oh my god, this is amazing. What's he looking at? Wow, trees! <laughs> Oh, so that's switching vehicle, and R is switch camera. Oh, it's in the back seat. Yes, the console's there. That's good. In nearby forest. That's not the um. That's not Richard Kiley. Disappointing. This I couldn't get you again. Ian Malcolm, sorry, Jeff Goldblum, Laura Dern, Sam Neill, and yeah, couldn't get Richard. Ki Actually, is he still alive? I don't know. I don't know if he's still alive, so I'm not gonna say anything. There's also no plastic guard on the steering wheel. And the console, although they do have a, a similar kind of thing, it's not like that. And they don't have all this. Now, I think, is there a button to get, like, a torch? Like, because I saw in the stream that they could, they could have a flashlight. Maybe it's only at night. <gasps> We're jumping from vehicle to vehicle. Hold on, I want to go front seat. There we go. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. What? It has something else on it. The, the lights are... I, I'm sorry, I'm going to go proper like... James, it looks it looks okay, right? It's fine. There's a lot of things wrong with it, though. The brush guard didn't have those sidebars on it. Yeah, it didn't have that. I'm just wondering... Hold on, hold on. We're going we're gonna to critique the Ford Explorer. Okay, those lights are horrendously wrong. That's good. Yeah, the battery box is fine. The camera is fine. The grill's wrong. Yeah, you know what this is? This isn't an Explorer... They, they haven't got the rights from um, from Ford to use it, so they've done a really close lookalike. Like, really close? <laughs> they've tried the best. They've definitely... Yeah, I think the reason why it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't look like it is because it's not. The wheel alloys are wrong. It should have, like, a little toe... A uh, little license, license plate area there with lights that light up the license plate. The guards... Our rear guards are almost correct. You see the top? 
The bottom should be the same. It's not. For whatever reason, they've changed that as well. It's so close. You know what? For the untrained eye, the untrained Jurassic Park nerd, they would not notice a damn thing. It, 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 they would be like, that's it. That's the car. They're both 005. God damn it. <laughs> the license plate right there. The little tag. Dilophosaurus being seen. Yes. We've, we've got a good tour. So this, this is like Jurassic Park when they're like, you know, can they see the dinosaurs? So already it's a better tour than what it was last. So we still need to see a Dilop sorry, a Triceratops and a Parasaurolophus. I wanted to make the noise. I wanted to make the noise. Or do I have to- Goggles are available in the glove compartment. I thought they were under the seat. What do they got in there, King Kong? <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I get to experience again? No, I don't. Oh, what? This place is full. Oh, no. I, ca I can proper go for it. I can switch through all the vehicles. Oh, that's good. Thank you. So this is the this is the one that's leading the charge. Hey, look, it's him doing the same animation again. <gasps> I dropped a pocket. <laughs> oh, so this is, this is the third tour now going into the Dilophosaur. And this is the fourth tour just leaving. So we've got so many uh, tours on the go at the moment. Um, trying to see, yeah, is this it? Yeah, this is still the same one. Trying to get to see the, um, so one, two, three, four. We got five. Yeah. And as the car's moving, they're locked onto that, those Brachiosauruses. That is a hell of a shot. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh God, no, I've brought up steam things. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, stop. It's beautiful. Jesus, that is some crazy fast wind wipers. <laughs> Can I actually phase through the car? Oh, I wanted to see if they'd, as an Easter egg, they'd put in the um, the briefcase and stuff. But no, I can't even phase into it. Are they going to see the Triceratops? I can. Uh, they're focused on the Brachiosaurus still at the moment. Oh, 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 Triceratops. Yeah, there you go, Triceratops scene. <gasps> I wonder if she's gonna start talking. No, 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 no. I need to be in there, I need to listen. Because I didn't even listen to it when it was the other one. When it was the gyrosphere. Yep, there it is. Oh my god! It looks so cool! They make the electric whirring noises, which is good. That's quite a nice little attention to detail there. You can make so Oh my- Ah! I love it too much. I love it too much. Shut up, James. People are trying to watch. We invite the rest of the world to experience the wonder of Jurassic Ooh. Park. Hey kids, look, dinosaurs. And this time it's mostly safe, probably. And if you survive, you can buy a t-shirt. There's a compliment in there somewhere. We're not out of the jungle just yet. Let's see how the park gets along, John. And at the first sign of trouble... I know, I know. Remember, I've encouraged your skepticism. And seeing people eaten by prehistoric creatures pretty much solidified it. And now you know why I keep young Cabot around. Speaking of which, have any of you esteemed doctors laid eyes on my intern recently? Hmm. You'd think this is something he wouldn't want to miss. Yes. Yes, you would. So who is going to take care of his tasks then? So wait. Okay, hold on. If I know Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant from the first movie. Ellie has this whole turnaround where she, was, she she has a monologue when she's eating ice cream with uh, John Hammond saying, I was, you know, about the power of this place. I She would not reopen Jurassic Park. Alan Grant, definitely more so. And uh, Ian Malcolm, well, he was, he was kind of against it from the start, but... Yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't reopen this park. Definitely not. And what's this about Cabot Finch? He keeps on disappearing off. Are we trying to say he's a villain? Did he kill John Hammond? No, don't start going towards that area. So how do we open the park? Open the park. Incubate failure rate. Okay, let's go. There we are. So now we actually have to run the park. Ooh. Well, hold on. We need to actually get a restaurant and get toilets. We don't even have toilets and we've opened. This is horrendous. Okay, let's get these. The park is open. Now, John, I don't like the looks of this, but we need to maintain food, drink, shopping, and restroom. Uh, to be fair, there isn't really much of a park. <laughs> it's, 
It's literally what you see before you. I'd love to see how hard it is to get to, like, to do a challenge mode in the Jurassic era. Okay. Not gonna lie. This building. This building right here. I love it. I don't even low key. I high key love it. I, I loud key love it. See, I'm trying to stop myself from doing this because I want to do this when I actually play the, like, not the campaign. But, you know, we're playing the campaign. We may as well give it a shot and try to make it look pretty. Do we have a sign for the hotel? So we don't have... Right, okay. We need a hotel sign. We need a restaurant sign. Already. Hopefully these can be uh, add additions added on. We, I mean, all I can do is point towards that. All I can do is point towards the visitor center. And I can't even... I can't even zoom in that much. Let's confuse some people, shall we? So we'll put visitor center that way. And then we'll put it the other way around. So that when we go into capture mode and we have a look, visitor center that way. Visitor center that way. <laughs> oh God, look at it. So the this is like a little hotel and we need to go into capture mode again just so we can get close. Look at it. It's gorgeous. I love it all. You've got people on the veranda there. Separate little cabanas, I guess you would call them. This is so good. Do they have menus? What's on the menu? Menu. -o. The chairs. The chairs are correct. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah, they, they even went to the trouble of putting the chairs right. That's good. Okay, but we need to research. I think I missed one. I think it was probably the gift shop. Yeah, gift shop. Um, ooh, we could do even more feeders? Is there nothing else I could do, though? Success rate is a good one. Oh, there we go. We've already got the skins unlocked. Yeah, wherever the tour is, that's where you want to put the amenities. So it's a Jurassic Cafe. That's a Jurassic Gifts. And a toilet. Hotaraiwa. I think that's Hotarai. I think. Isn't that? Or you could just say Basurum. Oh. <laughs> and the restroom is open. We have, we're close. Okay, so let's have a look. So that'll do. We can probably serve gourmet sea bass. Oh, it should say Chilean sea bass. Come on, but it's close. I'll take that. Maybe they couldn't say Chilean. Uh, we'll put the price up to about there. Yeah. Now, gifts. What do we sell? T Rex key ring, Jurassic place, and life size cutout. The T-Rex keyring, that might be a callback to JPOG. I know you could get keyrings. Uh, let's just set it to life-size cutout of what? I don't know. Maybe a Jeff Goldblum. That would be amazing. And toilets. Um, yeah, they're being used a lot. And we're not making any money. Call it a restroom. Can we not charge? We can't charge? Ah, oh, ah, oh, what is this? This is awful. Oh, <gasps> Cabot Finch is giving me a mission. Um, apply a ranger reload speed. I mean, yeah, okay. There you go. It's so Good weird seeing his voice come out of that picture. Like my voice has changed as I've grown up. And I'm pretty sure that Cabot Finch would have a little, like I wouldn't mind it just getting like a different voice actor or maybe pitch shifting a little bit. Um, but it is, it is a bit odd. Okay, there's something weird going on with the paths. Oh, let's change the path. There we go. Isn't that just a gorgeous looking path? Isn't it beautiful? Oh. <laughs> They're perfectly fine. Look at that. I haven't even filled it up. What do you mean shop and rate and low? How about we put it for free? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Reach profit per minute. Of 293,000. Now we've reached the inevitable moment when art becomes commerce with Finch nowhere to be seen. We knew that John was running a business. The dinosaurs should be a gift to the world. Somebody pays, Dr. Grant. Somebody always pays. Right. Okay. Now, how do we want how do we want to get a profit going? What do people need? Let's have a look. Food and drinks completely fine. Uh, dinosaur visibility. I guess we could just look on this. There he is, that that Don Cabot Finch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just like a dude that works at Frontier. <laughs> I'm the young Cabot Finch. It's me. Um, ooh, what we got? 
Hararasaurus. Uh, I'll just get those two. But let's have a look at these skins now. Um, well, I think we kind of have to go for a Spinosaurus. Although, I don't think we have any skins for him. Before I do anything, I need to send off another dig team. I should have been doing that. My bad. Um, where Ceratosaurus is there. He exists there. Do they see the raptors? Hold on. They don't seem to pay attention to this thing. I get the feeling this does literally nothing. Can I even delete it? I can. You are not allowed to demolish raptor. <laughs> I knew it! It doesn't do anything! And the interesting thing is, you have Ian Malcolm here, and he isn't one of these. That's that's one thing I was thinking maybe that they would, um, they would implement. Maybe it was four instead of three. Huh. I like how they've got Alan Grunt as the Raptor Claw and Ellie Sattler as the Triceratops. I guess because Ellie Sattler looks after the Triceratops with uh, Dr. Harding. They're, but he has missions! Oh, you get both Dr. Ellie Sattler and Dr. Alan Grant up. Is he just like a wild card? Was it prevent any power outages for 10 consecutive minutes? <sighs> I, uh, I don't know if I can do that, Ian. I don't know if you can do that either, Ian. I know, Ian. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Do you think you can do that, Ian? Of course, it, it's easy, it's easy. Good, good. I feel like I want to get blue. I want to get blue and put it in Jurassic Park. <gasps> Ooh, I know, I know where I'm putting the Ceratosaurus. I know where I'm putting them. Right, we're having our own. Uh, can I? Yeah, there we go. We're having our own like T-Rex scene because we can't get T-Rex just yet. So I'm gonna have this swerve around. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it go around there. Ha ha, it was connected. Yeah, so this area here, we're gonna split down the middle, and we're gonna- Oh god, this- this just- Oh, there's rocks and trees everywhere! Yeah, so we're gonna have it give off the impression that it's like two separate enclosures, so they come around here. Yeah, yeah, we'll have it enclosed, we'll have it enclosed, so they're just looking out of one way. If you're sat on the wrong side of the, uh, explorers, if you're sat on the left, I'm sorry, you're not seeing any dinosaurs. <laughs> Oh, look, Alan Grant, halfway there. And he's got the female Velociraptor and the two males acquire at least 50% of Amentosaurus's DNA. I'll go for it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, there you go. There's, um... Jesus. Oh, my God, there's two of them. There's two trikes. Oh, this isn't very good, is it? <laughs> I'm surprised they aren't through it already, to be fair. Yep, there it is. Can't repair fence because it's- Oh god, there's loads of tricep- Oh, they- They're going into the enclosure! <laughs> like, I want to be in here. Don't- That are the triceratops. And what we're gonna do- Oh god, we got a storm. Is- I mean, what's the population over here? Population's fine over there. We're gonna have them all transported. Sorry about the delay on the tour. We're, uh, We're just kind of, you know, having a little bit of an issue. You want to be out now? <laughs> oh, the oh, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah, there it is. That's where I put them all. So we've got Triceratops over there, and they should... I was going to say, there is a feeder as well over there, so we're not too bad. Oh! Requires some fixing. What's wrong with it? It's fine. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh dear, we've uh, we've had a little bit of a hiccup with the Ford Explorers. Um, yeah, what happens when this is the case? <laughs> Are they all coming? Yeah, they're all coming. <laughs> how many can we have? Please don't move. I want to see how many Ford Explorers we can build up. Jeez, that oh, I did it. contract is complete. Yeah. You uh, found a way. He said it. He said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he said it in the other one. Okay, right, let's transport uh, said Ceratosauruses, Ceratosauri, over. Now, these are vivid ones, I think. Oh, God, is that a Triceratops hammering on somewhere else? You're fine! What are you hitting the fence for, you little buggy? Eh? We are, uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties here at Jurassic Park, but don't worry, we'll get this under control. Oh, I love the sight of those Ceratosaurus as well. That looks awesome. So we st we're really close to reaching a profit. Like, so close. Are they still coming? Oh my god, they're still coming! 
They're still going. Oh my god. This is amazing. Wow. I don't even think Jurassic Park had... Th what happened to this guy? How come he's over there? And then literally all the other vehicles are all this. What's it like inside the broken one? <laughs> so, um... We, 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 just, we just sit here and do nothing, right? Yeah, okay. Whoa, that was terrifying. You want to Have impress the man? You've got to deliver the goods. So I've just received a new contract that'll give you that chance. Did that say we up Ian Malcolm? Oh, you thought I was referring to Mr. Hammond? <laughs> Who else would I be? Me talking about. It says John Hammond, but that's Ian Malcolm's uh, icon. So that's interesting. So instead of having John Hammond always on, it's Cabot Finch is like stepping in for him. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> We got 13 cars! What? How come we have so many cars? Are they still leaving? Oh, they've stopped. I think we've reached the max amount of cars you can have in the game, which is 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. You can have 20 cars on your tour. Yeah, there we go. We got another tour. All we need to do now is make another enclosure. I've just received word of a new contract. This one is right up your Oh, they're doing all the quotes. <laughs> That's great. This one's uh, right up your So what we're going to do is we're going to place the, the Spinosaur in here. Um, do we need... I think they have water needs now, don't they? Or is that, did I dream that? I may have dreamed that. Dreamt that. That's a word, James. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Like different... <gasps> different tiers of lakes. Oh, I kind of want to just put, like, segments where the Spinosaurus could be. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Oh, did I do it? Oh, my God, I did it. Wow. Improved output. Hatchery capacity now available. Sorry, Mr. I was trying Hammond to save. says we need more attractions in the park. Living dinosaurs aren't enough? Of course, they attract attention, Dr. Grant, but once people see what they can't believe they're seeing, they've seen it. I am honestly trying to follow you. People always want more. The dinosaurs should be enough. Maybe we can give them a new one. Ooh. So? Well, let's go for the combis. They're relatively oh. harmless, right? Really, Alan? Nothing here is harmless. Now, if we could only make Mr. Hammond believe that. I just caught a glimpse of this. <laughs> I don't remember this really being too much of an issue. Um, but is that is that tour doing good, though? Like, does it say how much money it's making? Is it making any money? So, I mean... If I click on viewing, I mean, everything's being viewed here, pretty much. I don't know where- Oh, they're all facing the Ceratosaurus, look! <laughs> all the binoculars. Ooh, Comsognathus, here we go. European! Ah, we always have the tiny dinosaurs, but I'm gonna leave it here because it's almost been an hour. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, uh, in the next video, we should be getting the compies, and then the video after that, maybe we'll get be getting the Pteranodons. But yeah, if you're enjoying it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.